Yo soy Frank de las Mercedes, and I was born in Masaya, Nicaragua. I grew up in a family of musicians and dancers, and that artistic passion drew me to the canvas at a very early age. But in 1985, the Civil War forced us to move to the U.S. and settle in New York City. I taught myself to read and write by spending endless nights in the aisles of the New York Public Library. And in 2006, I conceived the Priority Boxes Art Series, an internationally acclaimed project that merges art and activism with an ultimate aim for world peace. My boxes have actually traveled the globe and have been featured on the LED screens of Times Square. Today, I live on the other side of the Hudson and devote myself to deliver my love on a canvas, and now, my love in a box. I am Dania Sierra. I was born in La Habana, Cuba, and exiled to the United States in 1962. My execution of color and unique design are linked to those deep-rooted childhood memories of my life in the lush tropical landscapes of Cuba. I am a philanthropist and a published artist, and I work closely with various charities to support the growing Hispanic population throughout Miami. My aim is to enrich the lives of young children in Little Havana by devoting my time to educational programs in the community. My name is Jose Andres Giron. I was just out of high school when I joined the Army and was deployed to Vietnam with the 101st Airborne Division. There I experienced war firsthand. I was awarded the Purple Heart for incurring gunshot wounds and while lying on a hospital stretcher, I made a promise to myself that if I survived, I would dedicate my life to my one love, art. Years later, I met the great civil rights leader, Cesar Chavez. He inspired me to use my art to support civil rights in Arizona and New Mexico. This led to establishing Arizona's first Latino arts and cultural center and actively mentoring young Latino artists drawing inspiration from my Mexican-American heritage. My name is Gloria de los Santos. I always envisioned becoming an artist and pursue that dream while growing up on the south side of Chicago. As a young girl, I hopped trains and buses to get to the libraries and art museums. My Tejano father grew up poor and only reached the sixth grade. It was he who instilled a strong work ethic in me. After studying design at the Art Institute, I ended up in Hollywood, where I worked on the films Titanic, Inspector Gadget, and Star Trek. Today, my work reflects my inner peace and appreciation for my wonderful origins, a heritage rich with tradition. To honor my upbringing, I tutor adults in high-dream areas on the GED.